Hi, this is Shubhodev. In this video, I am going to show you how I have developed an e-learning portal using Microsoft Azure Cloud. So I have divided the video uh, into five different categories. So the things which I'll be covering in this video are what are the contents of the e-learning portal? What are the different users and modules? And uh, about the storage account that is Azure Blob Storage. The fourth thing is how the videos are getting uploaded that is i'll give a demo of the project and the last thing is what are the technologies used in the project so the technologies might differ uh, depending upon how you will uh, develop the project the first thing is what is acep uh, azure cloud-based e-learning uh, platform it is abbreviated as acep is a cloud-based solution for an e-learning portal so here the tutorial files which will be uploaded will be stored in Azure Cloud Storage and as part of Azure Storage, Blob Storage will be used. So uh, before going to the different users and modules, let me quickly go through the project. So uh, this is the home page of the project. So uh, this is the home. Uh, in the About Us, we'll show you how to, uh, the About Us. Next is we have the Donate page. Uh, we have the login and the sign up. So uh, for a learner, it can be signed up using a learner or a teacher. So in the about in the courses page, so here are the different courses which we are uh, having like Angular uh, Complete Data, uh, Data Science Bootcamp. So now. Uh, Let's go through the different users and modules. The, the first user will be the guest. So here the guest will have access for viewing the course, viewing the details and viewing the uh, ratings of that course. They can sign up to the portal. They can log in and send donations for the ACEP team. The next role is the learner. So from the login page, if the credentials provided will be of the learner, they will be redirected to the portal with the top navigators based on the learner. And uh, they will have the profile section, courses section, and also dashboard will be there for quick links to the different sections. Next is the teacher. From the login page, if the credentials provided will be of the teacher, they will be redirected to the portal with the top navigators changed based on the teacher. So uh, there is a profile section, add tutorial, adding course and upload videos are there. So the last thing, uh, last role is administrator. So the uh, role of the administrator will be for approving or disabling a course. So here the top navigators are only dashboard, profile and course. Next is course and video upload module. So all the videos can be uploaded by a registered teacher. So uh, first a registered uh, teacher needs to add a course by giving proper description and image of the course. The tutorial files will be uploaded on that course which the teacher have created. Next is the learner module for course. Uh, the learner can view the courses, they can search for a course and they can uh, view the description. And for accessing the tutorial files of that course, they need to uh, enroll for that course and they'll, then they will be able to access the learning materials. So the last thing is the course man, uh, management module for the administrator. The administrator course, the, uh, the task of the administrator will be for approving or uh, disabling a course. So whenever a new uh, course will be added, uh, the course needs to be uh, approved by the administrator. Then only the course will go live. Uh, we have the profile module. The profile module is same for all the three roles that is the learner, the teacher and the admin. So in the profile module, uh, the profile can be viewed, uh, the pro it can be modified and uh, there is a section for editing the photo and the passwords. Uh, the dashboard and the about us page in the dashboard page for all the users based on the rules it will be similar and uh, the about us page gives a description of the about us. So next is uh, Azure Cloud Storage, Azure Blobs. So uh, first let me go through the portal, Azure portal. So uh, this is the home page of Azure. So here we have the storage accounts. Inside the storage account, uh, we have created ACEP storage. Inside ACEP storage, we have this blob storage, and then inside that, we have container. And you can see there are that these are the tutorial files which are already being uploaded to, to Azure Cloud. So, 
so microsoft azure cloud so microsoft azure earlier it was known as windows azure till 2014 is a cloud computing platform which was created owned and designed by microsoft for successfully building deploying and managing services and applications and they are having a uh, network of data centers globally and these are managed by microsoft and what is blob storage in azure storage the videos and other learning materials of the e-learning um, portal will be stored inside azure blob storage so the full form of blob is binary large object next is how the videos are getting uploaded that is now i'll give you a demo of how the project will work so first uh, let me log into the portal as a learner So this is the home page of the learner. Here we have the dashboard. Then we have the profile. We have the edit profile, edit photo, change password. Next, uh, we have the about us page. Now we have the courses page. So uh, these are the courses which uh, the learner has already enrolled, enrolled. And you can also find courses uh, so these are not enrolled yet so if you will select a course that can you can view the details of that course and if you click on enroll that course will be enrolled now if you'll open the course angular getting started so these are the course materials as you can see one two three four and tutorial nine is there so what i will do is i will uh, upload a course uh, upload a tutorial for and uh, tutorial five so let me now uh, sign out now I log in as a teacher. Uh, for the teacher also we have the similar kind of home page, the dashboard, the profile, for profile, edit profile, edit photo, we have the about us page and the add tutorial. So in add tutorial, these are the three courses which he have added and this course is inactive that means this is not yet approved by the admin team and the other two courses are already approved so if i will open the angular course so here we have uh, four courses and tutorial nine so what i'll do is i'll upload tutorial five so in this add tutorial and uh, sorry and upload videos i'll be selecting angular I'll select Angular Tutorial 5. Let me copy the name. Now let me save and upload. Uh, as you will see that this is Angular 5 is not yet there. So now I refresh it. Angular 5 is not there. Now I will upload. Yeah. You can see the angular tutorial file is all uploaded successfully now if i'll go there and refresh yes angular 5 is there and it's uploaded on uh, 4 22 3 15 pm so now what i'll do is i'll sign out and log in as a learner the courses i'll go to angular course and here you can see tutorial file is there so if i'll click that course so this is the tutorial okay so let me sign out so that's it so now the uh, technology is used in the project so the technologies are uh, Microsoft uh, .NET Core, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, HTML, CSS Bootstrap, and JavaScript. So uh, let me show you the code. So this is the solution. If I'll click on properties, as you can see, the target framework is .NET Core 2.0, and this is SQL Server. Left. 
so I'm, I'm selecting the set of tables which I have used in the portal it's taking time it's taking time so uh, the next is HTML CSS and bootstrap I've used these technologies for developing the front end and JavaScript and jQuery for uh, the programming language uh, logic for the front page so that's it from this portal thank you have a nice day